Gwen and Day in between this between watching the parts. We just finished the first part of the Royal Academy of Lucaria, um, Lucaria, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it, by beating the Red Wolf of Radagon, finding out that another plus ten ash is booby booty compared to my mimic. But so, first off, our first order of business is hold on. I think I went to get a glintstone. I know where I'm going, never mind. I think I, I, I believe I know where I'm going. So we're gonna head off straight. Activate your summon pool, do what you would like to do. So once we're out here in the courtyard, main straight thing we're gonna do before exploring around, I'll show you the path to go. That'll get you straight to the boss. Easy peasy. And then we'll come back and explore a little bit that way, you know, I'm gonna try maybe doing a dead straight run. And if you actually want me, if you actually want to see some exploration and stuff, we will, you can join in after the uh, simple, uh, join in after I, uh, walk through and do all that stuff. So whenever you get here, you're going to be dealing with an NPC knight. Now, I don't have anything to personally get rid of him super quick. Oh god, he's, he was like not having none of me helping. He did not like me doing stuff. Easy peasy. Yeah, so he's pretty aggressive. I might have just walked too far in that. It's probably my fault. Over here uh, is a warp portal, and if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know where it goes. Um, I'll come back at the end of the video and take this for you guys. But what I want to do first is head straight for the boss, and then we can come back and I'll, um, you know, you can, like I said, you can decide if you want to continue watching some of the looting and stuff afterwards. This boss is gonna be Renala, the um, full moon queen, basically. It's not too, too hard, especially if I'm using my mimic, like the chat he is. Go ahead and summon my boy here. My mimic is so proud. Every buff I get, he gets. Ground, buddy. You don't get that one though, that's not an AoE. Um, I'm not gonna ruin this, I'm gonna skip this for the battle. You got, you know, if you're just playing and you're new and you're just trying to figure some stuff out, I'll just, uh, figuring out the, uh, I'll let you guys watch the cutscene. What you're gonna wanna do is hit the ones that are glowing. After you defeat the third one, you'll drop down. If your DPS is enough, you should be able to deal with her fairly quickly. You might have to. But um, I'm going to uh, make sure she just gets beat up the first time around. If she goes back up, she'll throw some like projectiles and stuff like that. You're going to have a second phase. It's not too bad. Just head in and bust her up. There is no need to like, not do anything. That's Renala, Queen of Full Moon. Um, it's not, it might not be that easy. I don't know. You won't have the Mimic. I'm going to be straight 100 with you. The Mimic, you're not going to have this early in the game. And it's going to take a while before you do get the Mimic tier Ash. But um, you can use whatever Ash you have available at you. Or you can use Summons to make it easier. I just use the Mimic Ash because it's, it's always like more... It's more interesting to see what literally my guy can do with a bunch of health. Where did he flee, so, my after you beat her, Come out from you can now do your... Red. Is it thy after to you beat her, you can do your rebirth, which is basically your respect. 
I you know, the cool thing about it in Elden Ring is it is unlimited the amount you can do, but there are a certain amount of the mats that you need to actually, you know, rebirth. Let me see where it is here. I think it's key items. Yeah, so it's going to be larval tears. I only have three at the moment. But that was Renala, Queen of Blood. Um, it's the end here if you want it to be the end. Um, but I'm going to head back and show you where to get the glintstone key so you can get the thops and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just head back as normal. Um, if you didn't, I know I didn't say anything about it, but um, to the right here, if you follow this right path or left path if you're just coming in, you will end up being able to open up a shortcut. I mean, honestly, it's not that much of a shortcut if I'm being 100% honest with you. And it just puts you in a dick position. So what we're going to do from here, you know, we're back on the, um, we're back in the courtyard. We're just going to make a beeline over here and grab this. This guy, that guy. After grabbing your rune, which you can do, you can either jump down or go down the steps and head up these large steps. There will be another mage, he should be priority her. You can defeat the pot boys if you want. I'm about to not let them treat me like that. And over here, you'll find a living jar shard. There might be more simply because I, I picked up stuff through my first and second playthrough. After you've collected all of that, we're gonna head over here now. The dookie part is, I think, I think there's a, yeah, so there's another Iron Virgin Maiden. I think if she grabs you too, it's still the same function. You can get teleported. I, you, that, uh, I need that to be tested. I don't want to test it at the moment, but um, if I want to get there super early, which, you know, we'll see. You can do that. If you look back here, you can find yourself a little crystal. A crystal? Oh, Corolla's Glintstone Crown. So that was new to me, guys. So um, you're going to want to make sure at this point, if you're heading towards the Virgin, you see him coming out, hang a left, and head back that path. It'll be a small crystal lizard that has an important helm. I'm assuming it's important. It looks important. You just follow the cliffside on the left. You'll see another sacred tear or, or golden seed. Go ahead and head straight, but be warned, there is a big crabby boy here. Take care of crabby boy. Pick up what's on the corpse. You, know, you pick up some crab eggs because you know, they, they like to drop those. Wrap yourself around this little pillar. Grab what's on that corpse, which is another golden room. Now, nah, I don't want to fight the abductor virgin personally because we've got more stuff to grab, so we're just going to try and be kind of quick about this. You grab the glintstone firefly off that corpse. If you head straight and left, you'll end up sweeping around the other side with some crebs. Head back. So what we're going to do is head back. That, that block, block. We're going to head back to the steps that we initially came down from the shortcut from. Go ahead and... Oh my lord. Ugh. Ugh. Go ahead and jump up there to grab a stone sword key on the fountain on your way back up. Ignore these peasants. I'm just going to restore some health. So what we're going to do is not get hit by that. We're gonna, from the shortcut area, we're gonna run and jump over the ledge. We're gonna turn around, head down the stairs, open this up. We're gonna head back up the stairs. Let's 
see there's this. Now I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna have to platform down that. But I wanna go ahead and head back around and grab you guys something real quick so you see what's all here. So head back up the steps that you or the little rubble here that leads to the shortcut. Head straight. We're gonna head straight instead. And inside you're gonna find a body with a corpse. Or yeah, a body with a corpse. A corpse with an item on it. And I, I I'm sorry, but I don't know offhand what it is, so we just have to find that out. So I'm gonna make sure we grabbed it. So we're going to head back the way where we jumped over the ledge. Now what we're going to do, I believe this is for the stone key. I might just be an idiot, but we're going to jump down here. I believe you get ambushed by some enemies. Deal with them as you please, you know, as you please. Nope, I'm good. This is the right way. So there is a ladder here, but if you take the left, you get a nice golden room. Climb up the ladder. Run straight. I'm not your enemy. We're gonna go around as we're being followed. Grab the item on the corpse. From the right side of the tower, drop down on the ledge. What we're gonna do is drop down again. And we're gonna drop down. We're gonna have to make a run it jump I think. I could be very wrong. I I swear I've made this jump before. But we're gonna take a run and we're gonna take a leap of faith. So what we're gonna do first is really really deal with these guys that are annoying me right now. We're gonna take a left here. I don't think this is the TV location. We might have to come back this way. Yeah, we'll come back. I can. I have to go. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. We're gonna have to skadoodle ahead here. Sorry. Messed it up. As usual. We're gonna head up the ladder. This isn't kind of kind of new for me I didn't explore too too thoroughly but I'm exploring thoroughly with you here and I can kind of really easily navigate my way around oh my gosh a long tower Woo. this might bring me back up I might be worried for nothing honestly so if you you know you explore left and you fall down I think you'll be all right I think you'll be fine so where are we here? We're right here. We're gonna jump down. You're gonna jump down the west, northwest side. Jump to your right on top of the building. You get a smith and stone floor. So it is a good idea and now we're back where we need to be. So as you know, you're navigating the buildings as you were before. We are going to run and make this jump again. <gasps> We're going to run make this jump. We're going to run over here. And we're going to run into the building. Oh, you swooped me. This, I hope this isn't wrong, so please bear with me. We're going to fall down. I don't know if this is right, but you know, it's still exploratory for me. I could have very easily missed stuff. You never know, man. So what we're going to do now is simply drop with all the crits. And get ourselves a somber smithing stone. Okay, I'm okay with that. Mm, so what we're going to do, what 
does it want us to do? So there's a crystal crab right there, right? We're gonna have to figure out how to beat that. Going the way we did was not right to get the glintstone key, but it's good that you see all the nooks and crannies. It seems like there's ladders leading all the time back up to doing what we need to do, so um, you don't have to be too, too worried about it. There's always gonna be time for you to um, check stuff out. So, making our way up the ladder, we're gonna make our way to this now. So the imbued stone key, or imbued sword key, I'll explain a little bit later. Let's get ourselves a smithing stone. So, unfortunately, we did miss the glintstone key, but we'll head back and get that after we um, head over there. We're going to head back the way we came. We're going to take a running leap over to this roof. Now, instead of heading right initially, we're going to go ahead and take the left side. Get ourselves some magic grease. You decide if it's worth it for you or not. You know, it's not my decision. Alright, I get tired of you guys. We're gonna head back around the roof. Now, before we do anything, I need to get my bearings. I think it's safe to go in here, so what we're gonna do is head in here, platform your way to this corpse, loot it. Um, so I believe this, this area... Alright, bear with me guys, this is a learning experience for everybody here. Okay, so that was the right way. You can ignore the other way that I was talking about, but if you fall down and drop through the top of this, the windows here in the church building, you'll get yourself another Academy Glintstone key. And you can give that one to Thops. Drop down. Head around, deal with the nerd mages. Sorceress. I'm I'm sorry, the proper term is sorceress. Head back around. So from where you drop down, if you take the left side northwest, you'll find the shattering crystal sorcery. Where are you at? There you are. So from where we found the shattering crystal sorcery. What is that? What are you? We're not going to go that way at the moment. So from the Crystal Sorcery, you follow the bridge over. Oh my god, where did you come from? We'll head out to the area. If you remember, we saw it earlier. And there will be a Crystal Crib. Get ourselves a Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. So we're going to head back in. Take an immediate right. Follow down this path. Deal with that guy. You won't. You're too slow for me. Oh, you're not too slow. Oh my god, I actually got killed. Oh my god. I actually got killed. Okay, so we're gonna do a speed run that way. We're gonna, we're just gonna... I'm just gonna... No, no, no lacking, nothing. We're just going to take a quick run there. Head back out, you know, because, you know, asshole, asshole alert, asshole alert. We're going to call the lift back up because, you know, for some reason they make specific enemies in the middle of nowhere hit hard as fuck, no other enemy was hitting that hard, but of course, that one enemy hits that hard, it just doesn't make any sense. Literally, like, good, decent defense on everything, and just still basically five shots me. Hey, what we're 
we're gonna do? Hug the right. Hug the right as you perturbingly make your way where you need to go. See, that's ridiculous. I take a little bit of that. Well, if that was an up close one, that would have hurt. Let's go ahead, jump back over, you know, because we gotta repeat the gosh darn steps. Head back up and around. It's crazy how much the area actually lets you see and go to. That's, I think that's amazing. Climb up this, the, the ladder. Oh, I, I can't. I can't do that while he's shooting those. Climb up the ladder. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna do what we did last time and actually go the way I didn't want to go. Oh my God! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Honestly, you can just stop watching now if you want. That was sad and disappointing. I wouldn't even blame you. <sighs> oh, fucking stupid shit. We're not wasting time here. We're just gonna... I gotta hold through. Even if this is a little bit longer, I gotta hold through. because I want to head back that way. Honestly, I think it honestly just makes a full circle to one of the doorways that was blocked. So actually, I'll let that be here, guys. Uh, that was Ronaldo the Full Moon Queen and some exploration after and all that. Uh, if you want the Glintstone key, I would watch if you haven't, I'll at least till that part. Um, I'll find out where I get the Glintstone key and put that number in or that uh, area that way we can start or so you guys don't know where to directly get it so thank you remember like comment and sub I'm I, 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 like I said I love what I'm doing and I'd really like to make something more of it you know thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one